हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द टॉपिक सिक्स डी स्पेक्ट्रम इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्पेक्ट्रम सिक्स डी इन सिक्स डी एरा वी एक्सपेक्ट टू सी इन्हांसमेंट ओवर द करेंट फाइव जी स्पेक्ट्रम एंड एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द स्पेक्ट्रम इन टू पोटेंशियल न्यू बैंड फ्रॉम लो बैंड it has terahertz and and visible light region up to 18 gigahertz aggregated bandwidth is available for fixed communication in europe in the frequency band 71 to 100 gigahertz while in usa both mobile and fixed communications are allowed there are also bands between 95 gigahertz and 3 terahertz recently opened by fcc this is potential spectrum region for 5g so it has low and mid bands mmw bands sub terahertz bands terahertz bands and visible light we can see the ranges as well sub 6 gigahertz sub 100 gigahertz 100 to 300 then greater than and 400 to 800 terahertz there is the plenty of experience in this in sub 6 gigahertz spectrum the main reason for moving to higher is greatly expansion hardware constraint like speed and complexity will challenge this we can see here the spectrum band for 5g and 3g with their uh, wavelength dominant propagation mechanism attenuation effects supported downlink or link distances transmitter power and system bandwidth with all the frequency ranges thank you